The Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc, you know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and... Sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? <sighs> I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Ah, not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. 
But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay.